everybody and happy Tuesday. It's Hannah at the Doodlebug in Jasper, Indiana, and it's time for our What's New Today at the Doodlebug. Today I have like one, two, three, four great um, orders for you guys, and I have a mini book to share with you as well too. Our main order that we checked in was Bella Boulevard. Bella Boulevard just came out with two of the stinking cutest lines for teenagers. So if you've got teens or um, tweens that you need to be doing some projects for, I think you're gonna love these lines. Now, as a mom of boys, I really do like, I think it's Carson is the boy line. Yes, Carson is the name of the boy line. And then um, teen girl is Caitlin, it looks like. So we've got Carson and Caitlin that we are going to be checking out today. Um, and they did really, really good with the teen boy line. So often there are so many things in teen boy lines today that are more like throwbacks to the 90s. And even though I totally love that because I am a child of the 90s, it does not make sense for teenage boys now in this decade. So there are game controllers and words they actually say, not words that we were saying in the 90s. So I do really like that. Um, and I know we've told a lot of the manufacturers that, you know, when we're doing, you know, present day pictures, um, you know, a lot of the stuff does not relate to teens nowadays. Now, when you're a designer about my age, so in your middle 40s, 40s, those are kind of what you gravitate to because that's what you remember as a teenager, but that's not relevant for teenagers anymore. So I hope you guys really, really love these um, lines as much as what I do. And look at everybody jumping on. Hey, everybody. Happy Tuesday. I um, hope you guys are all doing really, really good. I've also got a mini book that my friend Stacy put together for you guys. It is a class kit that we have going on. It is going to be a virtual class taught by Nikki Shear. So that that is huge. It's one that um, as, a, as an air member, so that's just a collaboration of stores. We're, we're, a, we're a group um, and then we kind of pull together our resources and then we can get some bigger designers to do something. So this is a book that Nikki is going to be teaching, I want to say August 22nd. That's what is sticking in my head. But um, it is a class that you can watch whenever you want and as many times as you want to. And it is such a stinking, stinking cute line so um, that we are using in that one. And the book is so adorable. Stacy really enjoyed putting it together. She said she learned a lot too. So excited to show you that. So, all right, I'm going to quit gabbing. I'm going to flip the camera around and show you these goodies. So a little bit of what we're going to be looking at here today. We've got Laura back here working today with me as well. She is checking in a new order from Uniquely Creative. So we're going to be showing you that in a couple days. But look at all these goodies coming your way. All right. So let's check out Carson first. So remember, Carson is the more boy themed line. And it even says Teen Vibe Carson. So Bella Boulevard, I love their collection kits. Their collection kits are going to be more than a normal collection kit. And the reason for that is you are getting two of each paper. But I know most of you. You buy papers in twos anyway, so it saves you from buying the extra collection kit and getting that extra sticker sheet you may or may not work. So anyway, this one here, um, so we're going to go through this. These are all in collection kits, but again, you know, sup, stud, dude. I mean, these are all words that kids today actually use, not just words that um, you remember as a teen. Look at the headphones here, the little game controller symbols, the Wi-Fi symbol as well, um, you know, the little Converse shoes. So great great teenage boy on all of this. Then we've got a stars paper that is classic for anything. I love the little lightning bolts on the back. And we've got just another fun little page here. This one's called streaming, but again, just some good. I like the little sports ball one here as well. Just good teenage boy papers, good colors. They're bright. All this fun stuff. I love this one with all the food in there. And the paper is called Never Enough 
food. And boy, is that not true. I've been talking to some of my friends who have our kids all going back to school. And of course, we are very sad about our kids going back, but we are very excited about our grocery bills going back down as well. That for sure is is one one bonus there. I love this little, little TV screens on there, computer monitors, good stripe on the back of that one. This one here is all kinds of words and it's called Let's Talk. So we've got legit, savage, teenager, handsome, limited edition, guys will be guys. Lots of great little words on there. The truth about the grocery bill. I know. Oh my gosh. Here's a great little set of shoes and then a good little check on the back. So just a fun, fun, fun line here. This one here is all the borders. I love all the soda cans, all the different hats. <laughs> um, sign off, forever gamer, online gaming, game face mode, level up, always gaming. Here's another little fun little cut apart page here. Where are my keys? Today will be a good day. Food is always a good idea. So fun little cut apart page there. Great diagonal on the back. And then the sticker sheet. So again, this is the collection kit for Carson. And then what else do I have to go with Carson? Well, Bella Boulevard is owned by Doodlebug Designs now. Your daughter ate like a bird, picky eater. You are lucky. I will totally send you part of my grocery bill. Oh my goodness. Um, and you know, Doodlebug always has these great little coordinating prints that match the lines. Well, now that they have taken over Bella Boulevard, they do the same thing and it's called Bella Besties. So we've got great Bella Besties that are going to match Carson. And then we've also got Bella Besties for Caitlin as well. And to me, I love these Besties packs. Even if you are not picking up Carson, look at the great colors in these, the great subtle prints in these. I know we carry some of the Bella Besties for lines we don't even have in the store just because the prints are so good. So that's the Bella Besties for Carson. Oh, I wish we were closer to you too, Natalie. It, it is kind of a long, long shopping trip for you. But as you know, we will always willingly ship. We are just a, a, a post office box away. Um, little epoxies that we've got the match. So we've got the epoxy stars. Then we did some of the Bella Pops for this line. Honestly, some of them I was not for sure of. Um, so I did this one here though. This one is called Game Over. Great little game controllers on those. And this, of course, will work on girls as well. Girls are gamers too. Then we've got the puffy stickers for this line. Food, screen, sleep, repeat. I love all the different baseball hats on here. No, not yet, Miss Shannon. We are waiting for one more um, Spellbinders order to come in for your box, but we wanted to charge your box one because your tab was getting a little big and two because we were getting close to selling out of some of the items and we did not want you to miss them, but we do have more um, simple, sorry, more Spellbinders on the way. So that should be in really, really soon. This one here is the ephemera words. Linda put all this out for me. Yes. Oh my, I love this one. Ma, mama, mom bra. Oh my gosh. Yes. Look at these. So cute, strong, handsome, show up, work hard, game over, chilling, skate life, unstoppable, the real MVP, school, athletic, savage, dude, all these fun little ones down here to push the limits. Oh my gosh. I think mine did that a little bit this summer. Tried to push the limits. Hello. I'm a stud. I love that one. Stud. Dumb thing, boy, dumb things boys do. Boy, I think 
a lot of us moms could probably write a book and this would be a great title for that. Oh my gosh. Most of the besties for Carson would be great with Disney lines. Yes, they would. You are so right. All right. Let's see. Miss Lynn, she is asking for Bella Pops. Um, uh, game over and the puffy stickers. You've got it, friend. Got it. And Debbie wants a game over. You've got it. Next, we've got the ephemera. So the ephemera here, we've got a cell phone. We've got game controllers. We've got a pizza place. Look at the little truck sitting by the pizza place too. TV, game controller, shoes, headphones, all kinds of little sports stuff in here. Here's a little laptop with a little stickers on it. Skateboards. Here's another pickup truck. Isn't this just awesome? A little pizza box. So many fun things. So here is the back of that one. Oh, look. Look at the gaming chair is even in there. A little four-wheeler is in there. Fun, fun. So these are the ephemeras for Carson. And let me show you the back of the ephemera words. Here's all the different ephemera words you're going to get in there as well. So for Carson... Let me see here. Debbie wants the ephemera as well, the regular ephemera. Um, and let me know if you want the words, Miss Debbie. Got those for you. So again, for Carson, we've got collection kit. We've got besties. We have the ephemera, the icons. Okay. We've got the words. We've got the puffies. And we've got the game over Bella Pops. Regular ephemera. Good. That's what I pulled you. That's what I figured. So that is Carson. Now we're going to move over into Caitlin. So Caitlin, we are switching gears here. So we are switching colors completely. So now we're going to have lots and lots of bright pinks. Oh, Debbie wants a besties yet? You've got it, Miss Debbie. Pulling that now before I walk away. So we're going to go through the, the girl one here. So again, we've got all these great little girl words. Stress, less, smile, more, choose, happy, cute. Look at all the little cherries and the little smiley faces. Again, the Wi-Fi symbols, symbols, LOL. Yes. <laughs> cute. Cute little dot on the back. Flowers. I like that flower print. That'll be good on lots of things. Good down on the back. Oh, this one's called skincare. Look at all the different bottles. Sugar scrub, it one even says. Face wash, SPS. FPF, not what, yeah, whatever I said. The little kissy lips, isn't that cute? I need like little duck lips. You know how they're always doing those little, little lippy looks with their selfies. I love these little smiley faces. Good hearts on the back. So again, this is the Caitlin line. Just a fun, bright, cheery line. Ooh, I love this one. Oh, it's called Boy Crazy. Isn't that a cute name? <laughs> Boy Crazy. Fun one on all. Oh, look at the little Stanley mugs even in there. The fake eyelashes, car keys with the cute little keychain on them. All the little Converse shoes, little music notes on the back. Oh, I think they're both really cute, too. They really are. And, and you know, as a store owner, I love all the vintage stuff. 49 and Market, I love that. Simple Stories, it's a lot of vintage stuff. But, you know, whenever you've got just pictures of teenagers being teenagers, sometimes it's hard to use those. So it is nice to get some lines like this. Oh, look at the little... And their little ear pods, air bud, whatever they're called, air buds. Wi-Fi went down today, so I had to talk to my family. They seem like nice people. <laughs> I was so innocent until my bestie came along. Not sisters by blood, but sisters by heart. Oh, my gosh. That is perfect if you've got teenage girls. I love that. Oh, goodness. All the little cameras down here. Be the reason someone smiles. Oh, big mood, whatever really cute first job first boyfriend first day of high school so so cute 
fun, fun line. A girl's must-haves. Yes, her drink, her lipstick or her lip gloss, her keys, her phone, and then her little earbuds there. Cute. Real girls are never perfect, and perf perfect girls are never real. Oh, that is so good, too. Such a good teenage girl line. I love this. All right, then we've got all these fun little stickers to go with the line. So there is Caitlin's collection kit. Caitlin also has, I did the chipboard set for Caitlin. Cute little line here. I love this little set too. So those are the chipboard stickers that match it. Then here we've got the besties that match it. So the besties, again, even if you're not getting Caitlin, these are great little besties here. Oh, Linda's even got them all turned every other for me on these. Thank you, Linda. So we've got great orange, reds, a couple different pinks in here, yellow and teals. So great bestie set, even if you're not doing the line, just really good, subtle prints. Love those. Then for Caitlin, I did a lot of the Bella Pops for Caitlin. They were just, they were good. I thought they worked really well. So here we've got the little one. This one is called Where's My Phone? This would make such a cute, if you're even just doing a card for a teenage girl, how cute is this? This one here is just cute for all of us. This one is called Too Cute. Love those little dimensional flowers on there. This is another one that's good for all of us, regardless of what age we feel. This one is called Smile. Where's my phone? You've got it. Adding that to your pile. And then I know so many of you ask, like maybe you're, you know, you've got someone in cosmopolitan, cosmopolitan, cosmetology. Um, I know I've had, you know, different cosmetic consultants come in when they do their focus boards, their yearly goals. A lot of people are always wanting makeup stuff. So I picked these up here. Um, it's called Hello Beautiful. So I thought that would be a good one to have as well. Lois wants a camera and a phone. Kim wants two smiles. You've got it, Miss Kim. Pulling those right now for you. Got them. All right. Next up, again, I thought these were just cute. They work for anything. This one is called Love Yourself, and this is just a little epoxy flowers. These are called Big Heart. Again, I thought they just worked for anything. Diane wants the flower and the phone. Got it. There's the phone. Wrong one. All right. Flower and the phone for Miss Diane. Perfect. And then this one here is the puffy stickers. So puffy stickers. We've got the words, you are amazing, best friends, all these fun little flowers. And look at the colors on those. Those are really, really pretty. Um, the set is called Amazing, but it's the puffy flowers or the puffy stickers that match Caitlin. Uh, you want the flower. I don't know which flower you want, Linda. Do you want the, um, cause it came on later. So do you want the too cute one or do you want the love yourself one? All right. So then we're going to jump down to Caitlin's ephemera icons. So remember the icons are going to give you all those great little bits and pieces going to look through those. We've got the cute little Stanley cup. Look at the fun little Jeep in here. Oh my gosh. If any of you are Jeep girls, I think you need this set just for the Jeep. A little cell phone in here. Flowers in here. Oh, look at this. Pajama pants or little joggers. Well, they wear those. They wear those everywhere. Look at the fun little, like little fairy lights. Oh my gosh. Look at the hair dryer. <gasps> Movie night. How cute is this? Oh my gosh, these are so good. Look at the little laptop with all the stickers on it. I love all these goofy little smiley faces, fun little hat. Oh, look at the lip gloss even, the little glasses. Oh, a hair scrunchie. Is that not awesome? Hair scrunchie. And then the keys. 
So again, you've got all kinds of great little icons in here. There's little drinks in there. Look at the fanny pack that's in there somewhere. There's so much stuff in here. Oh, the little hair straightener. Oh, this is really good. Dang, I forget who it was, but a while back, someone asked if um, Doodlebug does a shadow box for like beauticians. This would be a good one to do your own shadow box with because it's got all this great stuff in there. It's, you know, again, it's got your straightener, your hair dryer, brushes in there, the little makeup kit is in there, a mirror is in there. Oh my gosh, look at the cowboy boots. Do you see the cowboy boots? Those are adorable. So that is the ephemera icons and then ephemera words. Yep. <laughs> I don't even know what those other ones. I don't have girls. Besties. That off. I think that's of course, but I'm not for sure. Look at the cute little tab with beautiful on there. Hanging with friends. Oh, selfie. Oh my goodness. All the selfies. Check this one out. The little beaded bracelets because they're all making their little bracelets because of Taylor Swift. Shine bright. Text me. Um, be you, you are perfect, big energy, make someone smile. So I'm going to switch to this one. So check out all the different words you're going to get in this pack. Date night, dramatic, imagine that, high school, BFF, choose happiness, don't ever change, hello beautiful, so many fun little words in here as well. This is such a good set if you've got younger girls that you are scrapbooking for. She, you're, you're, okay, so Natalie says that her daughter says oaf a lot. My boys don't say that. So, again, I think they did a really good job, um, you know, actually using words that are relevant to kids nowadays. So that is awesome. All right. So let's see here. We've got that. All right, Linda, we will get your two cute ones pulled. So again, just to review Caitlin real quick, Caitlin's got collection kit. She's got besties. She's got chipboards, icons, and words. And then jump into the other side for her Bella Pops. She's got the phone, which is called Where's My Phone? The camera, which is called Smile. We've got flowers that are called Too Cute. Pulling one for Linda right now. We've got the makeup that's called Hello Beautiful. And then in our epoxies, we've got the flowers that are called Love Yourself. The flowers that are called Big Heart. And then we've got the puffy stickers that are called Amazing. And that is our order from Bella Boulevard. Then moving around the table. So last week on Friday, um, we had our big Copic class on Saturday. So we got in our Copic order on Friday, whew, right in the nick of time for the class. And then I don't ever show all the Copics we get in because that's just kind of boring for me to go through all these different Copic colors. But no, our Copic rack has been restocked. And some of the other things we get from that distributor are those great Avery L storage pockets. Now, last time we got in a really big pack called Extra Large Stamp and Die, and they were gone within a day. So I got them back in again. So this is going to be for some of your much bigger sets. Um, these are six and a quarter by nine and three eighths. So it's a nice big size set. I'm going to pull a lawn fawn set here just to kind of show you how nice and big these are. So these are going to be good for like your Tim Holtz sets. Um, you know, some of your much bigger sets of stamps are going to fit into this one. But these are nice weight of plastic so that you could even put cards in here, scraps in here, all kinds of fun stuff would work great in here. The next one though, this is the one we sell the most of. These are the large ones. They are five and a half by seven and three eighths. And then again, I'm gonna put a lawn fawn stamp right up to that. So this is what I use a lot at home. I even put a magnet sheet in here as well. Um, and you get like, yeah, 50 of these in a pack for 14 bucks. So they're a really good price point as well too. So we've got those back in stock. This is also the company that does the much more sturdy 
storage envelopes. These are five and three fourths by seven and a half. You're gonna get five in a pack for $7.89 on these. Large envelopes, you've got it, Miss Linda. Pulling that for you. And then we've also got the magnet sheets here as well. So magnet sheets have been one thing we've been having a hard time getting in, um, and they have them back in stock. They are five by seven, and you are going to get five of them for ten seventy nine. And these are super super strong as well too, and they will fit into the Avery L ones as well, or they are designed to match these nice stronger ones too. So magnet sheets back in stock storage envelopes back in stock. We also got a little pack of replacement brush nibs for your Copic Sketch and Chow. So if you've got a nib that has been damaged or maybe got a little dried up um, and just you want to replace it, we've got the little nibs here for you. You can replace those. And then just some double-sided tape. Eighth of an inch, quarter inch, and an inch and inch and a half back in stock. I like to use the inch and a half to um, run through my big shot for some of my smaller little die cut pieces. What I mean by that is let's say that when I am cutting these out, I want them to have sticky already on the back. So I can put that on my the back of my cardstock and then put my die right on top of that. And now it's got adhesive all over the back for me. We do sell larger rolls of this as well. So for some of my bigger stuff, I pull out my bigger roll. We also got in a small little lawn fawn order. Now some of it was special order um, and we already pulled that just because they were waiting on it. And I felt super, super bad about that, but we got chamois back in stock. What is a stamp chamois? So these you wet with a little bit of water and then you use them to wipe your stamps clean. Now, whenever you do that, friends, you are going to stain your stamp chamois. That is normal. You, you know, I always rinse my chamois out whenever I'm done, squeeze it out really good, let it dry, but it is going to stain. It doesn't hurt it by any means. It just starts to look a little yucky. Um, I mean, mine is like gray at this point. It is not this bright, beautiful teal color anymore at all. Um, how can you get the brush tips for the chameleon markers? Ooh, I don't know. Nicole, I don't carry those, but when I come back and I check, um, check comments and stuff tomorrow, I'll see if I can order those for you and then we'll get back with you. Okay. So this one here, super, super great. Love the little stamp chamois. One thing to remember with these though, whenever you have them dry, don't close them up into a container because they will mold. It's just like throwing anything wet into a sealed compartment. It will get stinky and it will mold. So you need to let these in, have them in something where they can air dry for you. All right, what did we restock for Lawn Fawn? Well, we restocked those super cute little stitched veggies. So we've got two different sets here. These are the root vegetables. So you can see you've got little beets in here, carrots, onions, all your fun little root vegetables. And then this one here are just garden vegetables. So you've got cauliflower, cabbage, peppers, tomatoes, all kinds of cute ones in this one as well. This one here, we have the die yet, so we need to replace the stamp set. This is called Yappy Birthday. I'm trying to see if there's a sample on the back. There is not, but just a cute little pup set. And I do like down here, look at the presents and it even says treats. So, so cute. Um, have a Howling Good Time ball on your birthday, Yappy Birthday. But this set is called Yappy Birthday. This one I thought is super fun. This is an older one. It is not a newer one, but it's called Pumpkin House. And if you are new to Lawn Fawn, it is a cute little die set. It's a standalone die. So it, it doesn't have a stamp set that necessarily coordinates with it. But of course, all Lawn Fawn stuff works super great together. But it's an adorable little pumpkin house that this one makes. Now that is perfect for the season we're getting ready to go into. 
Then last time I got in, I hadn't had these in a long time, got them in, we sold out and we had pre-orders for the next time we got them in. This is one of those just fun little $4 stamp sets. And this one is called Trick or Treat. Trick or Treat, we've got the stamp and the die. These will be really fun, easy little stamp set for doing, you know, of course, Halloween cards, but little bitty treat packages, stamping the front of your envelopes, anything like that. And they're just an inexpensive set. I think you get the stamp and die for like 10 bucks for the two of them even. Another one we are restocking. This one is called Hey There. We had the dies for Hey There, but we needed the stamps. We have carried this one for years. So a lot of my lawn fun stuff, I rotate out. Um, I always have this little guy in stock. This one is such a cute little farm animal set. It's adorable. And with that one, stamp and die for the candy corn. You've got it, Miss Lois. For that one, we um, the sample we have uses this little mini picture frame set. And so we sell a lot of these as well. Actually, I'm going to walk over and show you because these are so stinking cute. And I think once you see the card sample, it will give you all kinds of ideas how you can use those. So here is that one there. So that is using the mini picture frames and then also the Hey There stamp set. But is that not adorable? Such a cute, cute little one there. And then while we're here, I'm going to show you. Here is a sample for Yappy Birthday. Isn't that cute? It's a cute little set. And then, oh, here we go. I was like, I think I've got a sample I do for those fun little stitched vegetables. So there's the little stitched vegetables as well too. Okay, I'm gonna put you back on this so I can walk back over and not make you guys seasick. Or at least try not to. Our next order that we're going to check out is we have an order from our Canadian distributor, and that is where we get all the fun Hunky Dory stuff. So from this time with Hunky Dory, we restocked our Feline Festive. This is that super cute little cat foiled set. So you've got one punch apart sheet in here. And then you're also going to get two pieces of printed paper in here as well. From this, the, the packaging says you can make at least two cards and you can make, make way more than two cards, but you can easily, easily make two cards. I would say three to four is probably more likely what you can make with this set, possibly even more, but we've got feline festive. Then this is a new one called Santa's Little Helpers. Are they not adorable? Check out the penguins on there too. So, so fun. And again, you're gonna get two printed pieces of paper in there as well. This one here is called Snowbody Like You. Again, it's got that great foiling on it. This one here is a little bitty snowman though. So cute. So you can see on your punch apart page, you're gonna get three different images. And then again, you've got two different sheets of paper in here. The paper is A4 in size. So you can get quite a few A2 uh, card fronts out of this. So there's our new hunky dories. Then for our little 3D easy toppers, check out these little guys. These are, well, called hedgehogs. That's what they are. They're hedgehogs. But look at them. Are they not adorable? You've got great fall ones in here and some even like for spring that you could use anytime. And then also some little winter ones as well too. So these are paper layering. So they're going to layer on top of each other. They have glitter on them. If you can see the glitter there, they've got glitter and they're also individually packaged. So you don't even have to punch them out at all. So we've got the little hedgehogs on here. Then we've got another new one called Marine. This would be beautiful for embellishments in a vacation album. You don't have to use these just for cards and tags. These make beautiful page embellishments as well. So Marine. All right, next up, VersaFine colors are finally here. Minus one. So let me explain what happened with this. So Sukuniko is um, a company that's overseas. 
And whenever um, this was shipped to my distributor, um, their carrier lost part of their shipment. Wonderful, right? Um, they still don't know where it's at. And the part of the shipment that got lost was most of the reinkers and the new dark green that should be right here called evergreen. I am very sad about this. Got your marine. Thank you, Miss Linda. So we have 11 of the 12 new VersaFine Claire colors. I think a lot of these are spoken for, but we can definitely um, put you back on an order for these. So VersaFine is a pigment pad, so which means it's going to stay a little juicier longer. The colors are going to be a little more intense as well, too. Um, you can emboss with these as well. So what else does it say? Brings out the finest details, longest lasting pigment ink pads available. Perfect for using with watercolors to stamp to color stamped images. Um, oh, and then it says a white edge on the pad is normal. So we've got new colors. We've got Portobello. We've got Sand Dune. Avocado. Green Grass. Strawberry. Hawthorne Rose, Very Perry, Lilac Bloom, Bally Blue, Arctic, Baby Pink, and Missing Evergreen, which is a real dark green color. And then luckily we did get in almost half of our reinkers. For those, we got Portobello, Lilac Bloom, Spruce. Oh, spruce. That's what it is. Not evergreen. Spruce. So we've got spruce, <laughs> but not spruce's pad. So we got spruce, strawberry, and baby pink. You've got it, Miss Lois. And if these are all spoken for already, because I know we've been, and um, we've got a little pre-order um, going on for these, we will put those right back on an order for you. Don't worry. All right, next up, I plan to do a separate video with just this mini book that Stacy did. But this is our next class that we are doing with AIR. Um, and it is going to be taught by Nikki Shear. And she is using the Simple Storage Vintage Linen Market. And is this not adorable? Friends, you make the whole book. So look at this spine. It is, it's got signatures in it. It's got little bands to hold them in. You're actually making everything. Stacy said she learned so much while making this book, but you've got little cute little pullouts. You've got great little flip pages in here. And look, you've even got plastic page protectors in here as well. Is that not adorable? So again, this is a class that we've got going on right now. We've got um, three of the next kits almost ready to go. I'm waiting on, um, we've got one thing coming from the distributor that we need. But I've got these that are already up online. Some of you have already received your kits for this class. Stacy just got the sample done though. She brought it into me on Saturday and I am absolutely in love with it. Look at all these great little flips and folds in here. And again, you're making the entire book, the entire thing. Here's another one of those great little plastic page protectors in there. I, I cannot wait. I mean, I didn't make the book, but I cannot wait to learn how to put these in as well. So, so cute. Love, love, love it. So again, this is the air exclusive class that we are doing with Nikki. Um, I'm pretty sure the class airs on the 22nd of August. But again, it's a virtual class, friends. Um, and so these will be recorded. There's instructions for these as well. Um, you know, because Stacy put it together and the class hasn't happened yet. So she did hers all based off of the instruction sheets. And I mean, she did fabulous just off the instruction sheets as well, which you're going to get too. So fun little mini book there. So again, like I said, I will get another video with just that in it. But how fun is that? 
All right, how are we doing on time? Okay, we're getting really, really close here to, to close in time at the doodle bug. So we're gonna get one table. I think we can get one table in with some other new stuff we just got in. All right, my friend Irene, I don't think you're on here, but we had talked about the Irene buddy bags the other day and, and you just might need one because your, your name is Irene. But we got in more Irene buddy bags. So Irene is great for embossing folders, card blanks, ink pads, and even washi tape. Irene is seven and a half wide, three and a half inch high, and three and a quarter deep. So a nice little bag here. You can see you can even, um, you can make the bag close tight down here or you can kind of loop it up and put some bigger items in there as well. So Irene Buddy Bags back in stock, five by seven back in stock. Again, that's the one that works great for your, um, your glue presses from My Sweet Petunia. Tonic scissors. So we were sold out of the mini snips and we've had a ton of special orders for these because we are demoing them right now in our make and take for the shop hop and people are loving how well they cut, how well they feel in their hand. Um, just, and you've got two different tensions that you can use. So we've got the recoil mini snips back in. These here are not the mini snips. These are not the snips, sorry. Um, but these are just his regular larger scissors. I am finding I love these for cutting quickly through my foil. Again, I've told you I, I think that the quick trimmer works great for the foil, but sometimes if I want to cut my foil down in the smaller pieces or I don't have my quick trimmer out, a bigger scissors works so well for that. Now also, if you're cutting bigger pieces of paper, you don't want to use this little bitty blade and like have to hack zoop, 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 zoop forever through bigger pieces of paper. So sometimes having two scissors is nice. And this is also a great one if you want to have one for fabric as well too. So we've got Tim's larger nine and a half inches in. Shannon needs a nine inch one. You've got it. So many snips with the recoils. Then also Tim Holtz trimmers. We've got those back in stock. I'll probably show you those tomorrow. They're at the end of the line, but we did get back in his trimmer blades. Those are back in stock. Oh my gosh, pink fresh brushes finally off the back order list. And I believe um, Miss Stacy Dunn, if you are watching, I need to go back through some of our messages. I think you had even requested some of these a while back and I told you sadly they're going to be on back order for a while. So we finally got back in the little blending brushes from Pink Fresh Studio. I do like these. They've got their own little case so you can kind of keep them separated from everything else. Um, and again, these are nice, especially if you should you do because you should have separate brushes for your interference inks and also separate brushes for your oxides so this is nice because you can even label these little guys what inks they are for you've got six different blending brushes in here 16.79 is the price on those jewel pickers back in stock undo yay we were out of undo this is one of those things that totally sneaks out of here undo is back in stock if you're not for sure what undo is it's one of those things you're not going to use it all the time but definitely needs to be in your stash undo picks up your stickers and it doesn't ruin the paper that you take them off of either like if we use goo gone or anything like that goo gone leaves behind so much oil this does not it is a solvent based and so the solvent just evaporates away it's great uh the little mono aqua bottles of glue back in stock then we got in some new wash, not new, new for us washi tapes from 49 and Market. When I saw this one, and I realized I hadn't had it in before, um, friends that do mini books, how great is this going to be? It's fabric tape. How great is this going to be for the spines of your mini books? Just a nice black fabric tape. So I got that one in for all my mini book makers. You also get a medium size roll of washi in there. 
and then you get two smaller size rolls as well. So that is the black fabric washi tape. This one here, I believe, is a restock. Yep, this is a restock. We got this in the other day. It's also fabric tape, but we sold through all of it already. So restocking the essential fabric tape. And this one here is a new one. This one is part of the curator's collection that she did. But I thought these were just good washi tapes. I've been seeing so many of you posting in our doodle bug dish lots of collage stuff and i thought a lot of these would work for maybe some of your collage stuff that you were doing so you've got all these great little washi tapes in here and go back to the box so you can see what they look like in real life i love that little stitching one as well too so that is the curators is that right curators yep curators washi tape that's a new one for us. I've got some fun new Christmas stickers for you guys. Little pop ones here. A little bit of glitter on them. This one here is called, oh, um, just Santa. <laughs> Santa. So you've got the little Santas. Check out the fun little snowmen. We've got little Santa hats. And then we've also got little snowmen as well. Fun, fun, fun. Last but not least, let's see. I'm going to show you one more thing. I've got Laura here training with me tonight. And so I've got to train her to close. So I don't want to like keep her here all night. So let's do just a couple things here yet. Sticker stadiums. Sticker stadiums back in stock. It's a great little storage. Um, it's got... A great little waterfall effect to it. It also expands very nicely too. So sticker stadiums. And then last but not least, I've got some albums. Now these albums all came in as special orders, but I want to show them just because they are, they're cute. So I had one gal just wanting some basic colors for postbound albums. So these are from Pioneer. We've got a great little pink color and a lilac color. These are post bound, so they're held together with posts. And then they've got a great little place for the picture on the front. Then I had another gal come in and she was wanting some fun albums for a trip that they took. Now, sadly, D-Ring albums do not come in all kinds of fun themes. Most of those are all just um, kind of leather or leatherette. So this one here is a great vintage travel. Again, it's a post bound, so it's kind of a printed cover on this. It's got a great little window on the front. I do like that really kind of weathered, neat weathered wood look it's got going on. And then this one here has is called Our Travels, and it's got great like little stamps, like a passport stamps in here. So that's another fun one. Again, these were all special ordered, but wanted to show them to you just so you know we can get other albums than just the D-ring ones that we normally stock. And, alrighty friends, even though I've got, oh my gosh, one, two and a half tables left of stuff, that was a lot for tonight. And I know our Tuesday lives always go a little long the way it is. So if you jumped on late, we started with Bella Boulevard. Bella Boulevard did two great new lines for teenagers, Carson and Caitlin. So you can check those out. Then we had um, a Lawn Fawn order in there, our Canadian distributor order in there. We've also got that beautiful album that Stacy did for us in there as well. So all kinds of fun, great stuff in today's live. So if you're watching on replay, feel free to post down in the comments. We, we continue to check those for quite a few days. And then until next time, friends, I am Hannah at the Doodlebug in Jasper, Indiana. Thanks for hanging out for a little bit. Hopefully you saw some fun new pretties that you can add to that want it, need it list. And then I will see all of you back here tomorrow evening. Thanks so much, guys. Bye.